So I've been on YouTube for a bit now. My three year anniversary is July 23rd, which might not seem like much compared to other people who've been grinding ever since YouTube was invented, but it's longer than I thought I'd be doing it for, so it's an accomplishment for me. When I first started, I didn't know a thing about animating. People ask me all the time about animation classes and special courses they should take, but I mean, I didn't do any of that. You wanna know how I learned how to animate? I searched on YouTube, how to animate. That's it. You'd be surprised at what you can learn from YouTube. And how unprofessional I am. If you think I'm some sort of animation expert, stop that. I still have no clue about anything. I could be doing everything wrong. I probably am. I always thought, man, doing YouTube would be so fun, but nah, it'd never work. I'm just me. There's nothing special about me. I never really had the thought that it could even be a possibility, you know? But here we are three years later with two million subscribers, a great community, and pretty much surpassing all my expectations which were pretty low to begin with, so that part's not as impressive. But it's still crazy! YouTube even sent out a little yearbook to all the channels with over 1 million subscribers, which I didn't even know was a thing. So it came in this like package here, and you open it up like that, and you open it up like- hold on. Like that. I didn't even know YouTube does this thing. I've never seen any of the channels kind of like talk about it. The front has like a bunch of all the names that are in there. Up oh, there I am, right next to your boy. <laughs> White boy. Open it, it says, Hey Jaden Animations, you started your... Okay, so that's when I made the channel, but I didn't post anything until July. So that's what I go by. And it's like, since then your channel's hit some serious heights. Keep reading and relive some of your biggest and most amazing moments. You open it and whoa! What's this? It's like this huge timeline. Who could forget your first video? Jaden Animation's intro. <laughs> oh, I wish I could forget it. Up till now, you've uploaded 47 videos. That's an average of one videos a month. <laughs> this is 2016 as well, so it's not like up to date on things. During that time, I was in college, so I only posted like three videos in the span of the entire college year. It sounds worse than it actually is. I, I post more now two videos a month. And then it says like, this is the class of 2016 who hit a million. You can read that if you want. I'm not, well, I already did. And then it goes through like all the channels that hit one million this year or in 2016. Up oh, there I am, this is dope. And also I, I tweeted about this. I do have the two plaques that YouTube sends at the 100,000 and of course the million. Yeah, I haven't shown in a video, but look at, look at that, that's insane. Yee. Putting yourself out there in front of so many people is a bit intimidating and a lot of people can get stuck at that part. YouTube is unique and I can't really think of many other careers that are like this. You're flat out exposed to the huge spectrum of different types of people all at once and they all have the freedom to say anything they want to you while hiding behind a computer screen with almost no repercussions. Like wimps! I think YouTube as a real life cubicle job would be ridiculously hilarious. You're at your cubicle minding your own business, doing work on your little computer, and some random coworker person peers over your wall and goes, Hey, you suck. And I hate you. And walks away. And you're gay. I'm self-conscious and have low self-esteem, but even I've been able to get desensitized to meaningless hate comments and ignorance. On the surface, a lot of people probably think, wow, that must be hard, constantly dealing with an entourage of stupidity and ignorance. But in a way, I really respect how YouTube is helping me grow tougher skin. It can be harsh, but you can learn to take it. I can tell the difference between a meaningless, you're stupid, and a genuinely helpful critique that I can use to improve my content. Another thing is that when I first started YouTube, I had no idea that people could start seeing me as more than just an average person. <laughs> okay, wait, that might have sounded super pretentious. What I'm trying to say is I don't see myself as famous or anything other than just 
me. I grew up as an average kid in an average school doing average things, literally nothing special or stand out. And the fact that a lot of people watch videos I make on the internet doesn't change the fact I'm still that average person. Don't put me on a pedestal. I just talk about the way I see things and my opinions. It doesn't make them more valuable than yours or anyone else's. And if you disagree, you can get out. Just kidding. I've gotten comments and messages from people actually saying I'm a god that can do no wrong, and that... Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> It's not healthy for anyone to view someone as more than just a human. All I do is draw dumb cartoons on the internet in my pajamas and people watch them. Yes, 95% of my videos are created in pajamas. You think I'm joking, but I spend like two to three weeks in the same clothes. One more point about being considered a big channel now is how meeting new people and friends on the internet is actually more difficult. You think it's the complete opposite, right? Like, uh, hey Jaden, you've got like at least two million people who'd most likely be willing to be closer friends with you, why would you even have the balls to complain about this kind of thing? Right? But this ties in with the people start seeing me as more than just an average person thing. It's getting harder and harder to be able to meet someone new without them seeing my sub count and either seeing value in becoming my friend for personal benefit or being intimidated because I'm so intimidating. It's strange how it can go in completely different directions like that, isn't it? I miss being able to just talk to someone new and not get sad to hear that they brag to other people about being my friend, because that's not friendship in my opinion at least. I see friendship as a mutual balanced respect for each other. One person shouldn't see the other person in a higher light or something, you know? Because then I wonder if you're my friend because of me or because you like the idea of being my friend. There's actually been a situation where I found out someone was all gloating like, oh hey, yeah, Jane and I are besties. We're, oh my God, we're such good friends. To a bunch of people. And an actual friend of mine asked me if that was true. And I was like, I've, Never even had a full conversation with that person. I didn't even know their name. Sorry, person. I'm sure you're cool and nice. I still don't know your name. You probably don't know this, but when I meet new people, I definitely hide the fact I do YouTube for a living. Mainly because... How the frick do you even explain, I post videos on the internet as a job, to someone without them getting either confused or very concerned. Yeah, so I put going to college and getting a degree on hold so I can make YouTube videos. Also, I still can't stand when people watch my videos in front of me. You'd think I'd get desensitized by it after three years, but nope! Whenever someone puts on one of my videos in front of me, I still want to slam my head on the counter and frisbee the computer away. Frisbee the computer away, and then slam my head on the counter. So when people ask me what I do, I just go... I do... Animation. Oh cool! And also, it's kind of weird to just meet someone and find out right away that millions of people watch their dumb internet videos. That's something I'd prefer they find out after they get to know me a bit so they judge me less. But even with all the weird difficulties YouTube comes with between trying to explain to your grandparents that you aren't becoming a failure by dropping college for a bit to post internet videos, and dealing with stupid people, leaving stupid comments, and generally being stupid, I really, really am grateful to be able to be in the spot I'm in. Boo, too cliche. Yeah, I agree. You're probably super desensitized from YouTubers always talking about being grateful to be where they are. So I'm gonna say I'm totally not thankful and lucky to be in the spot I'm in, and I'm not always gonna be in debt to you for watching my videos and helping my impossible dream come true that I totally thought I could reach in a million years because I'm so full of self-confidence. It's not like all of this has changed my life forever and I'm doing what I love with amazing friends I definitely would have met otherwise, and I can make people happier, which is all I ever want to do. Yeah, I'm not grateful at all. Psh, you think I'm grateful? You're grateful, I'm not grateful. Get out of here. Yeah, well, anyway. Congrats on three years, everyone! We should all do something. Like, uh, I don't know. I'd say I can post a video, but I just posted this video, so I wouldn't have enough time to make one that's not... crap. <laughs> Sorry. We should all... What if we did, like, a toast? Like, at a certain time, we all pour a drink of whatever. Could be water, could be juice, could be 
Hard liquor, I don't care. And then we all have a massive long distance toast to our anniversary. That'd be cool. I should think of a time. Okay, so on July 23rd at 12 p.m. Mountain Time, we all pour one out together. Mountain Time is just my time zone, so you have to translate what that is for you. When I set up the 1 million live stream, I said I was going to do it at whatever time it was in Mountain Time, and people didn't know how to convert it to their time zone. Just Google it. Anyway, I like that idea. July 23rd, 12 p.m. Mountain Time, we all do a toast to me posting my first YouTube video, which was very bad, don't watch it. Tweet me a picture of you doing the toast, okay, thanks, love you, bye.